All right, everyone. Welcome back to week two, or I guess not welcome back. This would be our first video of week two of SNA's Camp in a Box programs. And today we're gonna we're gonna be doing some painting. We're gonna be doing some painting, and we're gonna be making some handprint monkeys. Okay. So what we're gonna need is our paints. I got the green and the red and the blue, which some of you might not have the right paints, but it should be okay. We're also gonna need our paintbrush and we're gonna need any color of construction paper. I have white, you can use brown, you can use yellow, orange, whatever you want. So what we're gonna be doing, as I said, I don't know if I said it actually, I think I did. We're gonna be doing hand print monkeys. So basically what that's gonna be, I'm gonna use red because red is like the closest color I have to brown. And basically what that's going to be is we're going to be taking our paint. I'm gonna do it right now. We're gonna be taking our paint, let's set it down. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our hand. Right? So we'll try to get, get through this quickly. I'm using red because, um, like I said, I don't have a brown canister. I'm not sure if any of you guys do either, but you know, you can get creative with it. Use your imagination. Monkeys can be all sorts of colors if you if you uh, if you really want them to be. So, um, working through my hand really quickly so that. Our, our video today doesn't go on for, you know, a long time. So, so yeah, you're going to want, you don't want it to be too thin because then, um, you know, when you put your handprint down, it might not uh, fully go down onto the paper. So you don't want it to be too thin. And you also want it to, to uh, do this fairly quickly so that it doesn't dry out on your hands so that you can still do the handprint. You know what I mean? So, you don't want to do this all at once, obviously, because you don't want to have to paint some of your hand and then do it again later. But yeah, just want to make sure it doesn't dry out and uh, not work out properly so you have to try again that's the main thing so you don't want to i just have this little bit left with my pinky and we are almost there so we got our hand or our purposes today we're saying it's brown and we put our hand down and push it down make sure it's good and we take it off and there we go we have our we're imagining this is brown yours will be smaller obviously but um yeah so we have our handprint and now we're gonna turn this into a monkey and um I'm gonna see if I can uh um yeah I'm gonna I'll be right back. Alright, so yeah, make sure you um as soon as you're done, as soon as you got your handprint down and you're all done, you don't wanna wash your hands as quickly as possible with soap just to make sure nothing stays. It should come off pretty easily, mine did, just with a bit of soap rubbing together. But um yeah, the sooner you the sooner you try to take it off the better. Okay, so now, from this point on, you can, if you want, since yours are a bit smaller, you'll be able to um, possibly do multiple. So, let's say I had a smaller handprint. I could do like one here, and one, one here, one over here. But mine's a bit big, so we're just gonna do one handprint on mine, but you guys can do however many you want, whatever color you want. Now, what we're gonna do is on the thumb of our handprint we're going to draw a face over the thumb 
Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a little circle here in the paint. Now, obviously, my artistic talents are a bit lacking, as I'm sure we all know if we've been watching these videos. But, um, let me see if I have like a black marker or anything. So I'm just gonna take this marker just to show you guys, right? So I'm gonna just put a little smiley face there. Just to show you guys the premise, just so you can see what we're going for here. I'm gonna put some ears on it. Yeah, now mine mm, doesn't really look like a monkey, especially because it's red, but you know, these things happen. Um, I'm gonna close my paint up so it doesn't dry out. And we're left with this. So we got our hand for monkey, we got our ears here, we got our face. Now we're gonna add some more details with our other paint. And yeah, that'll finish off the craft. So, we're gonna take our green, and what we're gonna wanna do with our green is we're gonna wanna make a vine, right? So we're gonna try to make a vine that goes through all the rest of our fingers to make it look like the monkey is holding onto this vine. Okay? So, I'm just gonna go Make it go to the edge of the page here. Maybe put a bit of curls and a bit of spikes on it if I can. And we're basically going to try to make the vine fit our fingers. Because the vine curves, you know, that's pretty natural. And we're going to want to go like that. Add some details. And bring it to the edge of the page. Curve it back up. So. Let me just straighten it out a bit. What we have now. Is our monkey. On a vine. And now. One thing that we forgot earlier we're gonna have to go back to whatever color we use for the monkey or for the monkey's body i used red maybe you guys have brown maybe you have yellow orange we're gonna take our red paint again or like i said whatever you have and we're gonna try to add a little bit of a tail here just curls up That's not a great tail, <laughs> but it will do. It's a bit of a makeshift since, um, you know, we don't all have all the colors. Some of us might have extra paint at home, but there we go. We have our tail, we have our vine, we have our um, brand new red species of monkey. <laughs> and we're gonna t I'm gonna take blue as my last little detail. I'm gonna add some blue. wipe my brush off a bit more I'm gonna add some blue at the bottom here now you guys can do this if you want this is what I'm gonna do you guys if you have any creative ideas that you want to do feel free to add them it's all up to you it's your masterpiece like everything else we're doing at camp so you have any um ideas also make sure that while you're doing this you have your construction paper that you're painting on over something like newspaper or something like another piece of construction paper just to make sure that um 
you aren't getting any paint on whatever surface you're painting on, whether it be your desk or especially not if you're painting at like the kitchen table or anything. Don't want to make mom mad. Probably should have mentioned that before we started, but hopefully you guys all knew. Not rookies. And yeah. Especially when you're doing things at the edges of the paper, it's really easy to have paint spill over. And we just wanna make sure that our surfaces stay clean. And if not, if you do, like I did a bit, which reminded me to say it, make sure you have something handy that you can uh, wipe it down with to clean it off while it's still wet. And now we have our monkey on the vine with his tail and his head and a river. Now this is it in its most basic form. You guys can go crazy with it. You can do whatever you like. And yeah, sounds good. Let's have a great week of second, second week of camp. See ya.